Hello, welcome to this video. So this video would be like uh, part seven in us trying to uh, solve the mystery of the Lagrinus uh, 2021-14. So we still have questions. We still have questions. <clears throat> and we wanted to answer them, right? So something we wanted to say, this thing, <coughs> this uh, footage, just a uh, one clip, right? 34 seconds. I don't know if it's actually 34 seconds. <clears throat> Something we can do is right click, show the original uh, clip, which would be this one, right? No, move it to this one right here. Since this uh, clip's only 34 seconds, if you don't find this clip, you're going to miss it. So you can just search it online. I think it's like uh, Lagrinus 2021 14 to Soul 3, Camera Movement 1. So if you search that on YouTube, you'll be able to find it. It's a 34 second clip. So the only thing we're looking for is this. It happens for a split second, and then it's gone. And then it's just darkness. Maybe you can see the ground. You can see the ground. There is something there, right? We can see it. We could saturate it up if we want, which uh, we do do. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do? Yeah, we start the recording. We have this. This is going. Let's maximize this screen. Just a thirty-four second clip. So if you don't uh, get it, you're gonna miss it. I think we'll just try to go to the end. So it just pops up at the very end. This pops up. So it shows the terrain again. The main thing that we wanted to figure out in this video is the color of the terrain. We know that. Look at this. <coughs> Look at that. There's a uh, crater right there. Crater right there. And there's uh, definitely rocks and stuff on the ground. We can see that. We have to uh, get that window back open. So we can see it better when it's a smaller window for some reason. So we just want to raise the saturation. We don't want to raise it uh, too high. So if we go here, we can see a little bit about the ground in the surface here, right? So this is just in that 34 second clip. <coughs> You'd find this. So there's like a crater here. We can see the black dot, black square up there, right up there. There's a crater right there, obviously. And there's like a one, two, three, four rocks or small craters right there. There's one, two, three, three of them. So this is all we have to do to find the true surface of the video in his Lakers videos, right? Here's a crater right there. You can even see the middle of the crater right there, right? There's one above the mouse pointer. There's another crater. There's another one right there. You can just see them everywhere. You just see them everywhere. Absolutely everywhere along the surface when it's a uh, close-up. You just can't see it. But this one's just the uh, most noticeable, right? That was the most noticeable. <clears throat> so if we're at the very end, we just uh, raise the saturation so we can see it. It's only for that long. Baby, this is uh, shown in another clip somewhere. I guess the end. Uh, besides that, it's a uh, pure black up here at this point. And at the beginning of the clip... He just has his hand in front of it, right? You can see his glove. Here's his glove. And when he removes the glove, so you can watch him remove it, right? You can't see his glove too well. But the thing behind the glove is what we're interested in. So apparently, this is the terrain here, right? We can actually see rocks. We can actually see them over here. We'd never seen these when we uh, paused them before. But they're actually in focus right here. So this is actually him recording on the moon. We can see rocks right here. We can see those. Things we're wondering about is, uh, can the mood actually be this color? Because usually the mood, it's a gray color, right? Every time you see it, it's a gray color. But we're looking through the uh, NASA footage, and actually, in a lot of the footage, it's actually this exact same color. That's why we were freaking out. That's why we made this video. We were just looking at all of them, and they were like, wait a minute. Looking at the NASA footage, the mood looks exactly like this. So this is the footage that uh, Lakery shot for the mood, right? That uh, person who was streaming from YouTube, he streamed all these clips straight from the mood to YouTube. We can even see the crater right there, right? Crater right there. Before he even moves his hand, we can see the craters on the ground. Before he moves his hand, we can see the craters on the ground. And then he ducks down, and we don't see it, right? So if you don't have it within this uh, little second of a frame, you won't be able to see it, right? If you're playing it in real time, playing it in real time, that's all you get. <clears throat> That's all you get. So you have to pause it. Pause the as as he removes his head. We can see that. And we can uh, see the ground. We can even see the rocks that are up close to us as uh, bringing it down, right? What if there's anything down here too, right? Maybe right here or something. 
is at looking straight at the ground below him. It's just extremely pixelated. I think the uh, saturation is up. I think that's the only way that we'd be able to see it, right? So this is a uh, in between his gloves right here. In between his gloves. I believe that's in between his gloves. And we can see the ground right here. <clears throat> right here. This is the ground. And these are holes in the ground or craters in the ground or rocks on the ground. All these white dots, white circles, white lines, white lines on the ground. <clears throat> All of them, or most of them, could possibly be that, right? So let's go back. So this is another view of the ground in between his fingers. We can see the hole right there that we just seen, right? There's that one. There's one right there. There's one right there. There's one up there. Over here. Maybe those are rocks right there, actually. So if we back up a little bit, you can see the ground's pixelated. We can't see too much on the ground, right? We can see that there's uh, black shapes and circles. But we can actually see it best when it's right here, right? If you go through the rocks, go out of focus right there, right? Because we're looking at these rocks right here on the left. As he uh, pads his camera down, you can't actually see the rocks out of more anymore. They go out of focus. Everything over here is out of focus. We can barely see a rock right here. We can barely see that. We're just looking at the preview screen. It's easier to see on a smaller screen. We can see that. But besides that, right there, right, you can see that. It's <coughs> so hard to see it. But if we back up just a little bit. We're looking at these rocks on the right hand side, right? They just phased in. So this is a good quality picture, right? So we can right click, save the picture, take a snapshot, save it. That picture's perfect. So if you had a picture, we would want a picture right there. If we had a picture, we would want a picture right there. <coughs> So that way we can see the rocks, right? They're not there. Let's just go back to where we just were, right? I think it might be a bit blurry because it has to catch up again. 37 minutes. So it might be blurrier than it just was because we have to wait for the uh, red to catch up. I wonder if we should do that. That's going to take a bit, right? We have to get a footage off of our video clip. Or we could drag this to the beginning, right? We could drag it to the beginning if we're looking at it. We'll just uh, drag it to the beginning. It's just a small clip. And then we'll be able to see it at a higher quality better. So we'll pause the video. I was just uh, drag it over, right? What were we looking for? This clip right here. So it's just a uh, right click, go copy. Go to the beginning. If you go to the beginning, we'll be able to see it at a higher quality suit, right? So just actually put it right at the very beginning. So just go here, right click, paste insert. Add it actually inserted it right at the beginning. So now, when you go full screen, this little bar is going to fill up. Once this turns gray, it'll turn from a low quality image to a high quality image. We'll show you here, right? This is what it looks like. We can see the rocks kind of, but now that it's uh, pre loaded, pre rendered kind of, it should show them in a better quality. Which you can't actually show to do that, but there's the rocks right there. There's the rocks. There they are. So there we go. <clears throat> there's a rock right there. There's one. There's another pile of rocks. There's three of them. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's another rock right here, actually. There's another one. There's a crater right here above it. Maybe that's another rock behind it. And another one. Here's three rocks right here. Here's one. Here's a crater right here, probably. Here's probably another one. Here's maybe another one right there. Maybe a rock's beside it. Here's a crater right here, as we can see. Here's another rock right here. Here's a crater, probably. Here's maybe another one. As we even get uh, closer to the picture, because everything's so clear and in focus at the moment, which I can't believe we're saying this is clear and in focus, but <clears throat> compared to everything else we've seen, here's all the uh, craters and the holes and the rocks on the ground. We can clearly see it, right? There's the black line. There's the black line. There's the black circle black oval something like that here's the other black one we cleaned off our screen so we shouldn't be uh, mixing up anything on our screen for something here but all these black dots are actually uh, rocks down here here's one right here we didn't even look uh, up at the top yet right so there's play buttons in the way maybe there's something here but there's definitely a crater right there definitely one right there 
add up here too, right? Maybe these are big craters up at the top. Even at the about is we could barely see something, right? Maybe there's a black light up there. Maybe there's a black light up there. So we just have to go back to where we were. <coughs> this is what we're looking at. So we know that we can see that everything in better focus when it comes down, right? Wonder if that is just uh, tricking us or if that's actually doing that. So let's try to find where we were. We'll just use this uh, back frame button. We can go frame by frame. It's easier, right? There's where the rocks appeared. There's where they are. That's where they go disappear behind his hand. So literally, it is this one frame. Maybe this frame's all right. This one shows that clearly right there, right there. It shows two of them clearly right there. This was the first frame. This was the next frame. You can barely see the rocks. And the next frame, they almost disappear, right? Everything here disappears as well. As we just go through the frames, let's go to the next frame. They'll be even harder to see or are they easier to see. Yeah, we can barely see the rocks, right? Everything's going a bit more out of focus. We just screwed it up again. We were just trying to go frame by frame, but then it does that. We're trying to go frame by frame, but it does that. So I think we'll stop looking at this now. We looked at this long enough. What we can say is that the surface definitely looks like there's lots of uh, craters and lots of rocks on the surface. And it's a brown desert color, right? So maybe you think this is sad when you're looking at it. <coughs> maybe the there is no sad on the moon. But on the moon, it does turn that color, right? Maybe this picture shows the moon's green. Not sure why it shows green. Uh, they have so many different uh, colors of pictures on the moon. So we'll just start looking at this then. We'll start going through it. We'll say this is what he was streaming from the moon. We can see all of them over here, right? We always just always try to point that out, right? All these uh, white lines. Crater hole right there. Crater hole right there. Crater hole or a rock. Something like that. Maybe right there. So we're just looking at the preview because it's easier to see them. Maybe there's a black dot right there. But all these uh, white ones too. White lines. The white lines usually represent the crater up here. Right there. Right over there, right? Lots of that hill. <coughs> right over here. Looks like there's a trail of them, but I imagine if we hit the next button, they all disappear, right? Yeah, so up here over here. But that's what we're looking for. So this is what he was streaming, right? Here's what it looks like. There's the color of it. Looks like maybe he's streaming from a sandy beach. As we go through here, look down. Looks like maybe he's uh, recording sad. So we can see the color of it, right? We see the color of it. I think over here was something that we were pointing out too. If he's uh, looking way over here, there's the mountains over there. We can see maybe there's rocks in focus as he uh, looks down. Wonder if this is a hill or something. So we barely, we can actually make those out. We can barely make them out, but there is rocks. If this is a hill that's closer, <coughs> stuff would be more in focus here, like this uh, crater here, this one. So if we just uh, go over here, it always does that. We press it once, and then it does that. We're always trying to show something. We press uh, go to next frame, and then it makes us go full, makes it uh, play. Let's hope that doesn't happen. So if we go down here, you can see that crater was in focus, then it got out, right? Crater's right there. Next frame, it goes down, and then it'll disappear, right? Oh no, it's still there, right? It was there for three frames in a row. Three frames in a row. And then it disappears? No, it still stays there. So it still sees it. There's one right there. So this is uh, up closer. These would be uh, more in frame, right? We can see more rocks. We can see more rocks clearly. Because it's closer to his feet. It's not so far away. That was another thing we were trying to figure out, right? The uh, depth perception. These mountains, they're actually really far away. If we look at uh, Google Maps, that's why we opened up uh, Google Maps. We'll show you how far away this is and how close this is. The distance. The distance of it. The distance. If you were to open up Google Maps, you could download uh, Google Earth Pro. And we could search for uh, Lagrinus, I think. Is that what it was? Leg, Lagrinus? Lagrinus, Taylor Hill Road Gateway. 
pretty sure that's how you type it, right? If we search, we couldn't understand this location, right? But if we go up here, go to click on this button and click on the mood, loading uh, Google mood. If we search for this place on the mood, would it come up? It would come up, right? Lagrius does come up. The name does come up on the mood. Here's where he's filming from. He's filming from right here. I think we just, uh, oh, we have to figure out how to zoom in and then uh, look up, right? So we have to just click on this thing. We never really uh, do this too much, right? We looked at it a little bit, but if we look up, here's where he's filming from. So this is inside the crater. We don't know the controls too well. This is the hill, right? Is there a way to pad over here? So this is the hill right here. This is the hill right here. This is the hill that he's filming on. So if we zoom out, I don't think it shows a very good picture of it, but here's a crater. There was a better picture of it in the uh, 3D render that they had. So we're going to tilt it. So I guess here's the crater, right? As we look up, these mountains are pretty far away from this uh, central point of this place, right? So all around here, if you're sitting here and you're filming for the Lake Race Crater, I have to figure out how to look up. We have to figure out how to get a closer down here, right? We want to get a, as close as we can. This looks like we're almost on ground level, right? So this would be ground level. <clears throat> so it's like maybe if there's ever a hill that's close to him, if there's ever a hill that's close to him, it would be this hill right here. And these would be the hills in the distance. So how far they are, it's probably pretty far. Imagine uh, in between there, you'd be able to see all these uh, craters and stuff in the ground. Except that I think he's like uh, filming more like this or something. It's always like this. So all you see is the tops of the mountains in the very far away. They just see a lot of the sky. You don't ever see a lot of the ground up here. But I wonder if it's uh, maybe he's up. No, he's, this would be like uh, basically a top of the mountain. So is he filming his camera way up here? I think uh, Earth would have been up here or something, right? Maybe he's uh, zoomed in. Maybe that's something. Zoom in. I don't think that zooms in. So I think he maybe zoomed in or something. We're not sure if there's a way to zoom in or zoom out. But basically, here's where he's filming from, right? There's the cliffs. So if you see any uh, cliffs in the distance, that would be these ones. Look over here, there is like a flat area, right? So maybe this is uh, that one point from that uh, one point of the film. You could probably sit here. You could probably line up some of these areas with the actual footage that he recorded, right? You could probably actually do that in some of these places. Yeah, we do here. I wonder what happens if we go like uh, up and down as the perspective change. Because he has to look all the way down to look at the ground, right? So imagine now right here, if he's standing up at the top. That's why when he's uh, looking down, he's filming over here. Maybe it's zoomed in or something. So let's try to find that place again. Maybe like over here. Here we go. Here's some hills, right? Here's some hills. Maybe these are the hills that he's filming over here. He has those over there. We just don't see the ground too much. The ground's all pixelated all the time. Ground's pixelated. So we'll just uh, end this pretty soon. We'll leave this. But what we're saying is uh, this is where he's filming from, right? This is exactly where he's filming from. Here's the ground. Here's how far the mountains are. We look through that. If you want to go to uh, Google Mood, you could probably look through that and figure out that. But here's where he's filming from. If we were to go like this. See, like, uh, these would be those three mountains we're looking at. Probably the exact same three mountains that we're looking at on uh, the moon as we're looking at the Google moon over there. It could be the same three mountains he was looking at. So we can say this is a big open expanse. We can actually see them, right? We can see them right there. There's the crater, 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 rocks, rocks, crater, rock. There's so many of them. You can actually see them because they're not as far as the hills that he's usually filming. And up close, you'd probably see something, if there is something. There's just a couple of rocks that he actually does film when he uh, zooms down, right? 
So you could look hard enough and you could see something here. You could see a whole lot of things there. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of things right there, right? Three of them. One, two, three, three circles. There's a black line, white dot. There's a rock right there. There's like three of them. There's definitely stuff there right here, right? As soon as he gets uh, close, as soon as he gets to that uh, hill that he's filming up on in the middle of the crater, this is when he can start seeing uh, stuff up close, right? This stuff would be high resolution because it's right up to the camera. So this would be like the hill I imagined. This is where the hill ends. I imagine this is the big expanse over to the uh, mountains over there. So we can actually kind of see stuff over this part. Over in this area, we should be able to see a bed, right? We can see a little rock, 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 crater hole, maybe, rock, rock. It could be rocks or holes. There's a hole right there. There's a hole. There's definitely a lot of them up here at the top in the middle of the crater. And we haven't even uh, looked down more, right? It was <coughs> We just arrived at the crater. We see there's a whole bunch of them right there. If those are rocks, maybe, they're probably rocks. So if we zoom down, seems to go pixelated as the answer's down here, right? So maybe it's uh, refocusing to be close. We can see a uh, rock, 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 rock. This is uh, getting pretty close to below his feet, right? He zooms down more. We get a better picture. We can actually see a lot of things on the ground. We can maybe even see tracks. We could maybe even see uh, vehicle tracks, right? Maybe that's what those are. Because we don't see them everywhere. We just see these tracks. They could be vehicle tracks. These lines, lines over here. There's like uh, rocks and things in between the lines. So maybe these are actually vehicle tracks, right? There's rocks, rock, rock, rock. We see everything so close because it's directly beneath his feet. Everything's actually in focus. That's actually a super clear picture, right? As we're looking down, we can see better rocks. Yeah, I wonder why it turns uh, white in the middle over there, right? That rock turns white in the middle. We keep going down. Here's a straight line, right? When you look at the Apollo missions, the actual ones, you look down, there's these lines everywhere, right? Crater, crater, hole, rock. Right there, look at that. Track, 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 <coughs> track. We see some tracks. We see some tracks. Straight lines. Lots of them. As he's going up, right? We couldn't see him when he was coming down. Yeah, we can't see them. You can't see them. Tracks, tracks, tracks. So we're still looking at that. So we'll just go forward a bit. And then see what happens, right? Then he covers it up. By the looks of it. So there's the rocks on the ground there, right? So he's aiming the camera back up, and then does he uh, cut the feed? He's down here. We can see rocks on the ground. He's moving his head, and then what does he do? I guess that's uh, the end of that clip, right? But as we're going here, right forward, we can see we can see all those things. We already looked at those, but here's the color again, right? Here's what it looks like. We can definitely see the things on the ground. We can see crater, crater, crater. Crater, rock, crater, <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere you look. Everywhere you look. And you can see here, right? The color, color, desert, crater, crater, crater. We can see everything there. We can see everything there. And if we go over here, so we'll just try to find uh, more of it. I think we're not looking at uh, his footage. We'll look at uh, actual, actual real footage now, right? So here's this footage. It looks uh, desert. So it looks like this is the exact same uh, footage we just looked at. Yeah, it zooms out. We can see these. You see that? Maybe there were some tracks up there. We're just looking for uh, tracks now at this point, right? Because that's uh, something new and interesting. So it ends there. There's this one. It's so <coughs> gray because it was filter, right? This is what it looks like. We can see crater, crater. We see that uh, zoom in as it was moving, right? Craters all over the ground. Craters all over the ground. Then there's this one. Here's the Allegrius crater that he was looking at, right? Here's the 3D representation. So he's sitting right on this hill. Someone pointed it out. He's right there on this hill 
in the middle of this crater. So we can see there is some over there, but there is this place where there isn't too many craters. And as he uh, pad the camera down, he's pad the camera for those mountains over there all the way down to over here. So that's quite the distance, right? That's the distance. And we'll just see if we can find some more uh, color examples of that, right? Here's the desert. So that's not the actual desert, but here's <coughs> here's the desert, right? It's the brown color. It's the brown color. Here's more of the desert in that brown color. In that brown color, right? So it seems like it's in a brown in a lot of the images. It's not actually gray, which does make sense, right? Here, it looks like it might be an actual desert. Here's that uh, hill we were talking about that might be right beside him, although it could be actually far away. We're not sure, right? We just can't see anything. He's filming so far away. And his camera's angled up so much. So we see here's another picture of the desert, right? It is this color. We go through. We'll go through. Let's we'll keep going through to the end. We removed some clips because we knew that we had them already. And he's just going to keep doing that. And if we go over here. So what's this clip? Just more darkness. This is a near the end of the day, right? Here's more of that desert in that color, right? And over here, here's more of the desert in darkness. Yeah, desert in darkness. So the desert actually turns this color as well too, right? In some of his uh, videos, we did, we did put the saturation up. Saturation exposure. Exposure is up by 7 so we can see it. It's too dark to see the ground unless you do that. We can see it, right? Crater, 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 crater. There's earth. There's earth, there's holes of the ground, and rocks on the ground, and craters of the ground. These are static white lines right there, right there, right there, right there. The static white lines that stay there, right there. It stays there. <clears throat> it stays there as you play the footage, right there. Even there's a small one right there that just popped up, right? So that'd be a crater that pops in and out, it keeps popping in and out in the same spot. But this one's bigger. This one's definitely bigger. Maybe there's some right there. But you can see them as you play the footage. You can see them if you turn the saturation up. You can see them. And here's the other desert right here. You can see them here. We know that. We know that we can see those. Let's just uh, go to the next part. Go to the next part. See if we can find a, another picture of it uh, in that color, right? I think that's the same video. So here's the uh, same area, right? And at the end, so this is like uh, at the end before he closes it, is that the final seed? That's the final seed. So you can see here, this is like uh, Soul 4, one of his last videos. We can look. Crater, we can all see them. We can see all of them. You can see every single rock and every single uh, crater up here, right? Um, clear cache files. I think we have to wait for that. I think we have to wait for that. <clears throat> we were supposed to uh, be looking at the uh, colors and everything. We'll pause the video. We'll come back. It might take a while to do this. Alright, that's done. So it didn't actually take too long, right? But if you look here, it's that desert color. Here, it's uh, really that desert color. Did we put the saturate? Yeah, we did. Oh, no. Did we? No, we didn't. This is uh, without any changes. This is what it looks like. On the final day, before he ends it, when he has this filter on, we can see it looks like this, which looks exactly like a desert, right? Which brings us to the uh, conclusion of the video. Once we go to the Apollo footage, we'll find uh, it actually does look exactly like this. It does look like this. There's the crater, crater hole, right? Crater, crater. We can see them. We can see them. We can see them. So we go like this. Yeah, it is being recorded, so it is live. We can see the <coughs> solid line there, solid line, right? If you're doing this, you're just looking for solid lines that stay there, like this one right here. That's what you're looking for. That's That line stays up there. Looks like uh, maybe one appears right here that it's trying to focus into. Maybe there's one right there. So you sit here and drag this. There's one right there. We can see we can see a line that stays right there. We can see that. Uh, 
I was gonna say <coughs> we can keep looking forever, right? We can look forever and try to figure out a, every single crater. This one just keeps popping in and out right there. So if we go that, that's the uh, color that he shows. If you go through here, I guess this uh, final clip it doesn't really uh, show too much what he's walking, right? It's so hard to see anything on the ground during this point. But those could be vehicle tracks. We thought they were uh, desert lines. We thought they were desert lines, but if you look at them, as you go through, they could actually be rocks. They could actually be rocks. Rocks or tire tracks, right? As you go through, maybe rocks. Rocks. We thought they were desert lines. We seriously thought they were uh, desert lines when we first seen them. But as you go through, we're just going back, so we're not going forward, right? Let's go to where it starts. We'll go as he's walking forward. As he's walking forward. As he's walking forward, we can see lots of stuff on the ground. It's dark, so the saturation is up, right? Rock, rock, rock. Maybe it's a small hole or something. But as he's going forward, these are rocks. Those are rocks keeps on doing that we don't want it to go <clears throat> we don't want it to play we want to go uh, seed by seed so it's going forward these are actually rocks right up at the top left those are rocks those are rocks those are rocks or maybe they're uh, tire tracks right one of the two yeah those right there right there small rock small rocks there's some right there. It was there, then it disappeared, then it came back. So there's rock, 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 rock. This is us uh, looking at the ground as he's walking in the uh, final footage that he filmed, right? This is the final footage that he filmed before he ended it. This is us looking at the rocks on the ground. So these are actually rocks. They're not actually desert lines, right? Rock, rock. They're not actually desert lines actually rocks that's what makes it so weird right this is the actual footage that he recorded from the mood apparently live streaming to youtube and this is what he gives us rock right are those lines of rocks is that what they are he stopped moving right he stopped moving oh no he is still moving okay he's still moving he's still moving I think maybe you stopped there for a second, but as we can see, it's just all these uh, black lines and all these black dots everywhere. As he's pointed the camera to the ground and walking forward. And we do see a uh, dust get kicked up, right? We talked about that one video. As he is uh, walking, a foot appears here and he kicks up dust. So you can see, look at the rocks, 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 rocks. They're not desert lines, they're actually rocks. We're figuring that out right now. We didn't even uh, notice that, right? So I think he actually did stop here, right? He did stop. He points the camera at the rocks on the ground. You can see each of the individual rocks. And then he ends the footage. He takes the camera and then he ends the footage, right? So you can see those were the rocks on the ground. And that was it. That was the end of the stream. That was the end of the stream. See, so saturation, uh, <coughs> Dolly, saturation isn't up. All right. That was the final <coughs> bit of the stream that he did. So let's just uh, look at NASA footage, right? We'll look at that for a bit. So let's look, right? Look at this. Normally, NASA is gray. This doesn't have any effects on it. There's no effects on this thing. Like, uh, we had a whole collection at the end we're going to look at. So let's look here, right? It's gray. They do something, maybe the light comes up, and it turns brown. It turns exactly like it is shown in the picture of the Legrius uh, videos, right? Then it turns back to this color again. So there must be two filters that they use. He's using the exact same filters that these guys are using in these videos, right? This is the one filter we've seen where he turns everything gray. Everything turns gray. It's hard to see anything. And then there's also this one, where the colors actually come out. There's two filters. NASA uses the same ones, right? Here's this one. Here's the gray one. It's in the same video clip. 
It's a different filter on the camera, just like he was using. So this filter, yeah, <coughs> this filter, you can't use it in bright areas. Cause look how, uh, look how it reflects it. Look when they change it, all the light goes gone. That is crazy, right? That is so weird. This is so weird. The more you look into it, it's real. It's not fake. The more you look into it, it's real. <coughs> it's not fake. Right here's the filter. Actual NASA video. Here's this one. The reason that he doesn't leave that filter on, because it's so bright, if there's anything there, it just lights them right up, right? Look how lit up they are. We can see in the back, right? We can look like lines, lines, just like the other video. We can probably see it better in the uh, black filter. We can actually see. No, oh, it's harder to see things, right? You can't see the rocks anymore. You can't see the rocks. You can barely see them. But if we uh, put it back here where it was, it's easier. To see, it's easier to see them with this, right? Just like in his video, when we were looking at the uh, leg race footage, it was easier to see the stuff on the ground with this filter. Just like it's easier to see it on the ground with this filter, right? There's a white line over there. There's a white line over there. There's a white line right there. There's a black line. There's a couple lines over there. And here's all these rocks that we were looking at, right? Rocks? Rocks? Maybe there's a line up there at the top of the hill. Line. There's the white line. So just look at that, right? We're looking at the color of it. So there's uh, better examples as well. This is just uh, one of the examples. That wasn't even uh, starting at the examples page. The examples were all the way at the end here. All the way at the end. So those really the ones about uh, color. How even uh, even NASA footage can have a grainy, <laughs> grainy ground looking. Pretty much uh, NASA footage, if you're looking at a really far mountain, it looks exactly the same as the footage, right? Look how grainy, look grainy it looks up there. We can see the white lines. Look how grainy it is. There's no effects or anything. We'll look at that later. The thing we wanted to look at was the color, right? Here's, <coughs> here's what it looks like. Look, look at that. That's exactly it. Right? It starts out black. There's two different filters. We know there's two different filters. NASA uses it. And the guy that was filming for the moon five months ago, he has the same two filters on his camera. Here's the one black white filter. You literally do it. Is it a, yeah, it's a different clip, but they use one filter and they use a different one. Look at this. Look at this. This is actual uh, pictures of the moon from NASA, right? Look at how it looks exactly like a desert. Look at how brown it is. Look at how brown it is. Just like the uh, Lagrius videos. So if we're trying to say it doesn't look like the uh, moon because it looks like a sad. So it actually is a lighter color of sad that they do too, right? I think uh, later in the video, later over here, we actually do find that uh, really, really white sad, right? What that was shown in the video that uh, actually looked like sad. Yeah, over here is good, right? Everything's orange. Everything, everything. <laughs> Look at the background. It's not gray. It's a different filter. So we got that. I hope that we didn't uh, add the same thing twice at the end again. Because I know we had this uh, footage on twice. And then we removed it. So we look at this, right? That looks exactly like it. Exactly the same color. The, what we're looking at is the color. We know there's going to be a white line, white line, white line, white line, white line, white line. If you see a white line, that's a crater. You see, here's the desert, right? Exact same color. This one, here's the thing we're looking at, right? This is the exact same color. If we had this here, open up. So there's no filters or anything. There's no effects. No effects. This is just 100% uh, unedited NASA footage showing the white desert, right? Pretty much just looks like white sad, like you're actually in the desert. There's no gray. It's really, really, really white. Really white. Really white. Look at how white it is. Yeah, then over here, I think we're, uh, <coughs> should pause it before we do that. But look at that. That's exactly 
like the picture for the Allegrius. Like uh, we can't see because of how far it is. Like we'll be able to see the craters up there, but when it zooms out, we can't, we can't, we can't see them. That's what we're talking about a uh, depth perception, right? If you're looking here, you'd be able to see the crater, see the crater, see it, see the rocks, see that, see that, see that, see that. You can see those rocks. You can see those rocks. You can see all of these. You can see a line. You can see the lines. Those are one of the lines that he showed in the video. And if we zoom out, all of these rocks, and maybe these rocks, maybe these ones, maybe they disappear, right? So he's going to zoom out. We can't even see them, right? That's how powerful the zoom is, right? These rocks, you can barely make them out. He hasn't zoomed out yet. That, all we can see is a black circle. We can still see those things. If I see it zooms out more, we can't even make them out. We can still make out that circle there, though. Still make that out. But in the background, because we're so far away, because we're so far away, we can't uh, see anything except for sad, right? Here's something. Here is a big black line. That's definitely a holder. We can see stuff up close to us, but he's up on a high mountain over there, right? Take a look at uh, other stuff. Maybe this is a uh, gray. Looks a bit gray. Here's some more sad, right? So if it's really bright, it's not bright because it looks like the uh, sun is down most of the time when he's over there. We well, see it does light up to be brown here as well. Yeah, so I think we locked, looked at really good footage. So we can see here, I think this is the uh, last one, right? It's getting pretty close to the last one. We can see the uh, background color here, right? I think this was uh, an important one too. If you look in the back. I wonder if it'll show a better version of it. We'll just start here. So if we look in the back. Look in the back. And then we can uh, keep going through here, right? Look in the back. It's actually brown colored in the back. Like it was that uh, one video, right? When he had the sun up. When the moon was coming up. And the mood was behind at the mountains. It was uh, pretty much this color. It was this color. It was a bit darker. We increased the saturation. So I imagine if we increased the saturation, it would uh, be the same color, although it's uh, lighter in this video. So what we're looking at here is if we... Here. If we look in the back, we're looking at the uh, background, right? We're looking at the uh, color of the background over here. So it's pretty much exactly like the footage. You can see how grainy it looks. You can't uh, even see the trade that well. You can't even see the trade that well because it's so far away. You can see the white lines up there. You can see the white lines. All you can see is the white lines up there. But it's not gray. It's not brown. It's basically like a sad color. Like a white sad color, right? Just as if you're looking at a beach or something just as if you're out at the beach looking at a pile of sand and this is what the uh, beach looks like right so see so yeah this is the same footage we have the same footage twice for some reason so we already showed all those we already showed him and that's it so now that we've seen all that, right, we've seen, we've seen this, I think this is probably the uh, biggest one, right? This one looks exactly like this. We'll look at this. This is official NASA footage of the moon. It looks like you're out on the beach. It looks like you're out on the beach. Look at that. Out on the beach. And then if we go over here. To that uh, same same footage that we were looking at the beginning. I think it was uh, near the end, right? Just before everything ended. If you look over here. That's like the exact same color, right? <clears throat> so it can actually be this color in certain circumstances over if over there in the desert on the moon even in official official uh, NASA footage, right? We can see that. That's what it looks like. This is the Lagris footage. This isn't uh, NASA anymore. We did put the saturation up. 
We did put the saturation up just so that we could see it, right? If we don't have it up, we just have it at like a zero, what it normally is. And if we're looking at it, here is what it would look like, right? It would look like this. It would look like that. So considering it's dark right now, he's filming this uh, during the time when the sun is actually on the other side of the moon. Which is on the other side of the moon for 15 days, right? So the sun stays up for 15 days, and then you don't see the sun again for 15 days. So it's interesting, right? We learned that. There's the, uh, the sun cycle of the moon is 30 days. So there'll be 15 days of sun, 15 days of no sun. So he's filming it during the 15 days of no sun, which explains why you'd ever, ever see any sun in his footage. So we can see that, right? There's the uh, color of that. There's his color. There's his footage color. And then we'll just uh, look at the uh, beginning again, right? So all of these uh, colors that we looked at, all the colors that he filled the ground, we've seen that these uh, colors can actually be filled there. We look at the uh, dark brown color, right? Wherever the moon is. Did we miss it already? I guess over here, right? Even at the uh, beginning, the very first day, right? This over here, this thing, you would say that looks like a beach, but it's actually the moon. So we're trying to find that uh, place with the moon over here. We're trying to find this uh, what last footage over here. Is it right here? I think it might be. We're trying to find what it was, uh, this color, right? This color. So we did turn the saturation up so we could see it, but this color? does look a lot like the uh, color that it showed a lot of the times with the other thing except that the saturation is like way up right we have to have the saturation up so that we can uh, see it but it does look uh, more like the other color if the uh <coughs> if the sun was down right if it was dark out there we could see a rock right there we see the rock that disappeared there they are so here's what this looks like in this color right we turned the saturation down so it's not the actual color, but it's because it's so dark out there, we have to. Maybe just want to look at the other color here, right? So there's just this final thing. I want to look at this color too. It's so dark. It's so dark out there because the sun's on the other side of the moon. For 50 days, apparently. This is what it would look like. This is what it would look like if it was uh, lit up. If there was some type of uh, sun over there to at least... Uh, show some type of light over there but considering there is no sun it's so dark you can't see it but this is the color that it would uh, show up as just as uh the color that we see in the official footage so i think we did it right that was our thing we just wanted to figure out can it actually uh, be this color and a cad right especially in uh this one right a little bit brown looks like it looks like the exact same color maybe it's because it's uh brighter the sun is out <coughs> when uh when this uh, Apollo mission went to film all of this, they were doing it during the uh, 15 days that the sun was out. So while they're filming all of this, the sun is out there the entire time. So everything's bright. Everything looks like this all the time. But when he's filming it, there is no sun out there. So it looks really dark when he's filming it. So that's why it looks so different. But once we uh, lit it up, put the saturation up, it looked exactly like this. So it's uh, so weird, right? It's so weird that it looks uh, exactly like the leg race footage. Smart. Let's just uh, try this, right? We had the saturation up. Exposure. Set this up. Let's see if it uh, looks the same color, right? I don't think it would. All the way up. No, it wouldn't do anything. That makes it look bad. What if we make it look darker? Oh, if we bring the saturation down so it's dark like it was in his video it actually starts to look like that we just turned down the sun so we can say if the sun was down and they were filmed like this it would look even uh more closer to what he looked like right so let's just uh go to this uh, this part right we'll go to this part we'll turn the sun down turn the sun down go to exposure Turn the sun down. Look at that. 
That's exactly what it looked like in uh, his video, right? There's exactly what it looked like. Because the sun is down. The sun's not up over there. This is exactly the same color. Exactly the same color. Exactly the same color ground that he had. Look at that. We just turned down the sun. That was it. Turned down the sun. That looks exactly like that, right? If you look at this, we don't have to uh, make any changes to his footage. But if we had it up, right? This would be if the sun was up. This is the sun was up. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like during the uh, 15 days of sun. And during the uh, 15 days of uh, no sun, it would gradually get darker. It looked like this. So if we just leave that like that. If we just leave that like that. We could even like uh, take a picture or something, right? So let's do that. <coughs> Should we take a picture of there or over here? I guess they're both the same kind of, right? But it does show that there is like a uh, hilly mountains everywhere. Like right there, right? Like you could have literally been uh, static right here, filled right there, and it would look exactly the same as uh, his picture. So you just want to find something that's not blurry, right? So let's uh, take a snapshot. Take that. So let's go like this. We'll add the video pretty soon. It's actually really long. So let's go here. And if we were able to put this uh, side by side where he edited the video. Which would be right here. It's right here, right? Here's what this looks like. It's in the 34 second clip. Is it that? 34 second clip, we messed it up. It's in the 34 second clip. We just have to find where it is. <coughs> we did it, uh, we were trying to uh, put them side by side. Maybe we could uh, pause it, come back, we'll find the clip. We'll put them side by side. Then we'll be back. We can't even find it. Alright, so we'll probably end the video, right? We looked at a whole bunch of things. We just wanted to figure out if the uh, mood could actually look like sad, right? We wanted to figure out, uh, is there places on the mood? And whatever their uh, camera filter is, they got two different camera filters. They got a camera filter that's uh, black and white, so you can see stuff when it's bright out. So it doesn't uh, reflect back the light to you so much, so you can see things better in the bright. And they also have uh, this filter, so you can see all the different uh, colors actually come out, right? So it doesn't make everything monotone, but it's uh, if it's really bright, it's harder to see things with this. But this shows like a uh, different color of the mood, actually, right? We thought it was always gray, but it's actually like uh, looks like a uh, beach, like sad. So that's interesting. It's actually uh, <clears throat> it's actually more like a uh, beach in some areas. And it's just the uh, filter that they use to make it. So here's like the uh, Lakers picture, right? So even though it looks like it's a beach, maybe it looks like it's a sad. Maybe it looks like it's really uh, dark just because the uh, sun isn't out during these 15 days. So that's why it uh, looks like a beach at night. That's why it looks like a beach at night. This is why it looks like a beach during day over here. That's uh, <coughs> interesting, right? A beach at night time. Because the sun's gone for 15 days. And over here, when Apollo's doing it, it looks like a beach during daytime because the sun's here for 15 days. That's interesting. Nighttime beach, exactly what Lagrus was uh, filming, right? Daytime beach, exactly what uh, NASA was filming during the day. During the 15 days. 15 days of sun. And this is during the 15 days of night. So I wonder if we should uh, look up that quick, right? So maybe we should uh, explain it or something. So if we go here, we go like the uh, mood day cycle. If you're on the mood, the mood takes 27.3 days to orbit Earth, but the lunar phase cycle from the new mood to be new mood is 29.5 days. So the mood spends the extra 2.2 days catching up because Earth travels about 45 billion miles around the sun during the time the moon completes orbit around one cycle. So is the moon cycle 28 days? 
That's what deep out. So that'd be, that's uh, how long the sun it takes to go around this place, right? The moon phase takes 27 days to orbit Earth. The lunar phase. So there should be 15 days of sun and 15 days of... Does the moon have a day cycle? Just like Earth, our moon rotates on its axis. A day, light, and dark cycles. Our moon's day and night cycles are a little longer than Earth's. The moon spins on its axis once every 27.3 days. Our moon's period of rotation matches the time of evolution. That didn't answer our question. Duration of a day and night on the moon. In the case of the moon, the face of the moon, locked to the Earth's surface, remains exposed to the sun for about 14 days, and the other side exposed to the sun for the next 14 days. That is why the lunar day is approximately 14 days long, and the lunar night is again 14 days long. So that's what we're talking about, right? The moon, if you're on the moon, there's going to be a 14 days of sun, and then there's going to be a 14 days of night, 14 days of darkness, 14 days of day, 14 uh, days of night, 14 days where you can see the sun, 14 days where you can't see the sun because the sun's on the other side of the moon. So there is phases, right? Two weeks, I guess. Two weeks. That's interesting. That's why. Uh, <clears throat> that's why we're saying that, right? The moon cycle. Fourteen days of sun. Fourteen days of moon. That's what we're seeing here, right? That's exactly what we see here. So Apollo was there during the fourteen days that the sun was out, and this Lagrius guy was out filming on the moon during the fourteen days that there was no sun. Is that what the fourteen beads? Is that what the 14? Like, it's 2021, 14? Because he was going to stay there for 14 days? Because he had two different streams, right? He had one stream that lasted like three days, and then the other stream lasted for five days. Five, six, seven, eight, maybe like nine, ten. He opened on the six. Ten days. We're not sure. <clears throat> but generally, when he was filming, unless he changed his light filters, there would have been a no sun mostly the entire time that he was recording out there. That's why there was no lens flare, right? That's why when uh, these NASA people went there, there was lens flare. We see that because they were out there when the sun was out there. We'll find that clip quick. The video is so long, right? But we just want to uh, close off on a lot of things. We just want to close everything off because we still have to talk about how uh, the distance affects how blurry it looks. How it actually does the same thing for them, right? So where's this thing? Where's the sun? Was it, was it that one? It has to get in the way at some point, right? It has to get in the way at some point. It was near the beginning somewhere. We did clean this up so there wasn't as much to go through. We're not sure where it is. So it would have been a short clip, right? I wonder if we'll never find it. We'll pause the video. All right, we found it. It was right here. So we're talking about, right, The there's going to be uh, 14 days where you can't see the sun. And when uh, NASA was doing it, the sun was out there. So whenever they moved their camera, they would uh, see the sun over here, right? It would block the camera. It would get in the way. It would blind the camera. And then when you move it across it again, right? So NASA could see the sun. So they were there for the 14 days of sun. And Lagrius was there during the 14 days when there was no sun, so he would never, ever see a sun glare, because there was no sun in the sky while he was there. That's interesting, right? You look through all of his footage, and you never, never, ever see a sun glare. But there is an explanation for that, actually. There actually is an explanation for that, right? There is a reason why you never see the sun there. Because there is no sun for 14 days.
there's no day cycle, right? <clears throat> it's not, you're not going to see the sun every single day, right? You're not going to be out of the moon and you're not going to see the uh, sun go by every single day. You're only going to see the sun go by every 28 days. 14 days of sun, 14 days of darkness. That's interesting. There never was any sun when he was filming.